be this week i'm living out my best childhood fantasy i'm feeling like a pink power ranger honey i always wanted to be the pink power ranger let's just get into these readings honey hey girl <laughs> my pink power ranger power is just too much for the singing ball <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Virgo. Uh, but when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. Just man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation when it, uh, you know your situation, Virgo, better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate, Virgo, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, Virgo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones and how uh, the tarot cards resonate with you, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Virgo. And then also, uh, be sure to give this vi uh, video a like and subscribe as well, Virgo, if you do enjoy this weekly general tarot reading, uh, because it does help out my uh, channel out a lot, and I always am super appreciative, Virgo, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. And then finally, Virgo, I just want to say before we get into this reading that I feel like any tarot reading, any tarot cards should never be making a decision in your life, Virgo, because it's your life to live, not mine, not the, not any other tarot reader, you know, just yours, right? Not these tarot cards. So, um, yeah, I believe that tarot cards, tarot reading should be here to give a, th a food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a decision in your life. Um, yeah, so with all that being said, uh, Virgo, I feel like I made my point. So let's get just get into this reading now for you, this weekly general reading for you, Virgo. Now, your objective, your card that you are focused, I guess, the energy that you want to reach to or exude this week or work towards is the King of Swords for you, uh, Virgo. So this card in itself is just a little bit extra. It looks like, I mean, it says he's the King of Swords, honey. It looks like he's grabbing onto his own sword. It's such a weird... <laughs> like such a weird card to be having um the artwork of it not to have uh virgo but what this i like this card because this is like virgo for you this is where it's like you want to come from a place of the king of swords is someone that doesn't react or doesn't just say things in the mo like because they're upset the king of swords thinks things through usually not about action like physical action uh virgo the king of swords is usually someone that just like observes takes note of everything and then thinks on things being like okay like after they gather all the information then the king of swords is just like okay where do i want to go from here do i want to say something do i want to keep it moving do i do i need to take action right you're just thinking things through you're analyzing things before you react before you do something before you even speak there we go so when you have this card coming into you in this in such a way, this does let me know for you, Virgo, that you might be dealing with some challenges this week in the sense of um, where certain people, um, certain situations may just challenge you in the sense where it's just you would normally, maybe like normally you would get into an argument with the person, right? Maybe there's like certain people, certain family members in your life that like you can't help but engage with normally because it's just like you just like they're just such annoying people or whatever insert like whatever adjective that you want honey like someone that you normally just would like engage with or try to be like uh eh, you're not you're not acting right here um instead this week virgo instead of saying something instead of reacting why don't you just like bite your tongue right if they're being passive aggressive bite your tongue and wait it out a little bit more and see um you know, and just go accordingly. Do not allow, uh, do not allow certain situations. Do not allow, um, how would we put this, Virgo? Do not allow anything to take your energy for too long. We'll try this. We'll say that. Um, because I do get this sense for you, Virgo, where it's like there is something that you need to put some distance between you and someone or something. Um, there is like something, I do get this sense, Virgo, that it's like, it probably is currently already distracting you or taking um, a lot of your focus, uh, a lot of your brain power right now. Um, and I do, it's almost like this resistance almost, Virgo, from you where it's just like, or maybe you, maybe some of you would even argue that you're not trying to resist and you're just like, if it's like a toxic person in your life, you're just like, I don't want to deal with this toxic person, Velka. Like, what you saying? Like, I don't have any type of attachment to this person. Virgo, now I'm like really taking in these cards, honey. I'm thinking I'm going to be triggering some of y'all. So don't shoot the messenger ahead of time. I guess I'll just say that, Virgo. It's these cards, honey. I'm just relaying what I'm seeing in these cards, darling. Um, 
something that either you need to put distance in, but because it's like you engage with them, right? So it's just like, let's just say you're dealing with like a toxic narcissist, right? Um, I usually don't like to use those words, those words, because it's like, I believe that everyone should just be, <laughs> I don't believe everyone just because you don't get along with someone, they're not, that doesn't mean they're toxic. They may do toxic actions towards you. Um, so we'll say that it's like someone that does toxic actions towards you, um, because you engage with it, that's kind of like what it is that they want, right? Especially if they're a narcissist, they don't care about whether the reaction is positive or negative, just as long as they get some type of exchange. If you were to just like gray rock them, if you were to just be like, you know what? not going to react not even going to say anything honey you want to be passive aggressive that's fine darling you can say what you want to do you this is the last time you're ever going to say anything to me though right the six of swords is you're going to put distance between it but so this is where i might step on some toes because i feel like a lot of people always misunderstand when they hear the word ego they think the ego is just something where it's just like being all about yourself and being so but feeling like you're better than anyone that's like yeah that's what one level like in one sense that's what the ego is but <laughs> in this sense with this ego card coming in i'll read it off uh, before i continue on virgo this card says a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on the material things or negative or fear-based thoughts so i like to use i like to speak of the ego as something that it's like you know, you, maybe you feel justified, right? The ego will come in when it's like someone wrongs you, uh, Virgo, and you, the ego will come in and come in with justifications and being like, oh, it's okay for me to hold this person accountable. It's okay for me to tell this person about themselves and what have you, because they started this. They are the ones that did something wrong, right? And that's where the ego comes in, where it's just like telling you, it's just like, oh yeah, it makes it so you feel justified in doing it. While you can feel justified and while they certainly may be in the wrong uh, Virgo, you have to like have a look at your own ego and be like, okay, well, let me just, you know, just because they're doing something wrong doesn't mean I have to sink below, doesn't mean I have to answer their negativity with negativity of my own, right? Just don't feel, for some of you Tauruses, it may feel like you feel like you need to, uh, how many times can I say feel in two seconds? You may feel as if uh, Virgo, like you want to correct people's point of views, right? Maybe that's what bothers you, where it's just like you don't like seeing wrong. Do I have a sneeze coming in? <coughs> oh, honey. <laughs> uh, okay. What was I even saying, Virgo? I apologize. <laughs> um, wow, that sneeze just completely ruined my train of thought, Virgo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, even if that ego has you feeling justified, um, Virgo, with something like this, with this type of dynamic, while you can feel justified while this pers other person may have done that wrongdoing, the best thing that you can do is not answering that negativity with further negativity, is, but actually is just by t um, separating yourself from the situation entirely. You may feel like you have to correct someone's wrongdoing or their perspective on you, but that, again, is where the ego is coming in, where it's just like convincing you that it's important to shift the, the other people's perceptions of you, that it's important to correct things. Um, yeah, for you, like, this is such a situation, Virgo, where it's just like the high road is the best road to be taking with this four of swords here. It's talking about healing, ace of swords, and then the lover's card. Yeah, Virgo, truly, this may be like, I do get the sense that this is talking about a situation that, but this lover's card just lets me know just how, um, intimate this situation is to you, whether it's an actual person or not. It's just a situation that you actually care a lot about or has like a lot of um, emotional attachment to it. Ace of Swords comes in where um, I do get the sense that like the way to go, and maybe you guys are already in this process of it, Virgo, with this Ace of Swords coming in, this does kind of show to me that you have been in this beginning processes of owning this uh, King of Swords energy where it's just like you no longer are set like um, engaging and you're getting new ideas, new... Um, ways of approaching some type of situation maybe for some of you virgos you're even just coming to terms with the fact of just like someone just being no longer being a proper fit for your life and you're just putting you're just you yourself are just putting distance in that right i'm speaking such a way where it's like you this is something you have to work towards actively work to towards virgo but maybe you already are on that path Maybe you already are doing that. Maybe you already have the senses of that. And this card just came in as like an affirmation reading for some of you, letting some of you Virgos know that you are making the right choice. So now Virgo, let's just 
We talk about that. We did that weekly spread, right? But now let's start getting into the weekly messages about the specifics, right, Virgo? Let's first talk about the blessings coming into your life this week and the blessings that are in the works for you this week, Virgo. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say for the blessings coming into your life this week. Let's see. Let's see. I hope you guys are doing good, Virgo. I ended up taking a little bit of a break um, from readings and just work in general for, I think it was like almost a week. You know, it felt really nice, <laughs> Virgo. I feel really refreshed, but I have to just get back into the swing of things now. Mm, honey, I say that and now I have like something in my throat. Uh, can we talk about how aesthetically pleasing this looks? Just matching you in my can. It looks like I have my life together, but do not let that fool you. <laughs> All right, Virgo. <laughs> now let's get into the blessings for this week. We have Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Six of Wa or Six of Cups, <laughs> rather. So, with this, the blessings coming into your life, I do see you guys, Virgo, coming out of some type of um, stalemate with something from your past. Um, I say stalemate because it's like maybe for some of you Virgos, you have it similar to Taurus actually, where it's just like Taurus has been like the, the final messages for Taurus was at one point for their reading was talking about how they felt as if they needed to wait for the result of something before they got out of the environment so let's just say for example like the you you live in like a toxic living environment in Virgo now like you're waiting for like that raise so you can afford living into it living at a different place living in a different apartment I do see this for you Virgo you kind of just need to take action now obviously it's not like a situation where it's just like just taking action just being like okay like just make more money it's not that way at all but um virgo does seem to be like there's like the sense of like someone's feeling powerless in that um like you feel powerless in some type of situation or stuck um in a situation it does seem to be with that four of wands <sighs> like you want to go after it but there's just like this resistance because i see this as virgo where it's just like it's kind of you kind of just need to like like you feel like you're trapped in this situation with this eight of swords right you feel like with some type of situation from the past or something that's um been going on for a while with you you feel like there's it's kind of like out of your hands at this point and i don't feel like it's out of your hands quite yet um page of cups queen of wands and the page of swords coming in yeah this does seem to be seem to be um virgo of such a this is very much so like an extroverted energy Virgo, this is so much of a, um, hmm. The way to, like, uh, oh my goodness, honey. <clears throat> I'm in the train wreck for y'all's reading, Virgo. The way to, uh, it's like with these two pages coming in together, pages represents new beginnings. It seems to be, uh, Virgo, that you guys just need to take action on something. It's like, we can't neglect the ace of swords that you had from before, Virgo, where it's just like you have like these ideas coming into your head more pertaining to more than just like how to handle certain things. Um, and it does seem to be like the way to get out of your current environment that you feel stuck in is with the Queen of Wands, which is just leaning into that passion, which is leaning into this ambition more. And it does seem to be Page of Swords being the clarified clarifier for the Four of Wands seems to be communication. Uh, Virgo seems to be the sense of getting a better mental grasp on like, or better mental hold on things, right? Where it's just like, rather than telling yourself like, it's, being like oh i can't go to the finish line until like you have like a 10 minute rest break then it's just like in your head you shift the thinking to being like oh i see this finish line let me just continue pushing towards this right um six of cups page of cups this it's like a new like something from like something gets reignited here uh virgo something gets reignited from your past and it's like like a old spark uh and an old flame um just reigniting whether it's like a project or a person i do get the sense that the blessing coming in is just like through you taking action virgo through you kind of like getting out of like the cynical nature of being um not, i don't want to say you're being cynical it's not the word that i wanted to use at all it's almost like 
you kind of realize that you can't, um, or not that you can't, but like you realize that you're not as powerless as you feel into in a situation and that there's actually more that you can do to like bring this blessing in quicker to you, which does seem to be like you kind of putting uh, yourself out there. Uh, I'm going to be honest, Virgo. If it is about a person, communicate with them this week. This is, uh, is what I will just say that with. It's like if you're waiting to hear back from somebody, can you try, reach out to them this week. Absolutely, uh, Virgo. Reach out to them this week. If it's about, if it's not about a person, I get this sense of where it's just like you need to just take action, Virgo. With those two pages, it's like leaning into new energy. So if it's like if you're not sure about what to do with something, um, really lean into like a new energy um, or like a new approach um, with something that you have a history with. So interesting messages for that. So now, Virgo, let's wrap up this reading. Let's see what final messages that spirit has to say. Let's see what messages from your spirit guides, what messages your spirit guides have to say for your weekly reading. Tour, or Taurus. I, almost, I did call you Taurus, but let's see what <laughs> your cards are, Virgo. I apologize. Hmm, honey. So the devil card comes in again. The devil is the ego card. <laughs> In normal tarot. Well, the ego card is the devil card, rather, we'll say. Um, in normal tarot. So it's following you. So this is definitely a week, Virgo, of keeping your mental in check, holding your ego. Really look at your ego. King of Cups as well, Two of Swords. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. If the definite. Virgo, there does seem to be something that you're being extremely guarded towards. Where it's just like, and I feel like it's even related to the Six of Cups, where it's just like someone from your past, could be like an ex energy, could be just like a project that failed once, and then you kind of wash your hands clean of it. There's something that you kind of just like have your guard up about, and you're just like, nope, not going to even entertain it, not even going to um, entertain the idea and get your hopes up for something anymore. You're not interested in... Um, yeah, you're just not interested in engaging with something and like getting, allowing your emotions to um, take hold in the situation. It's like you're trying your best to keep your heart closed out in some type of situation, Virgo. Um, four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Virgo, I do get this sense that it's just, you have been waiting out your time. You, it's like, you only want, like, the decisions that you make in your life, you only want to make the decisions when you have, like, such a sense of sure, sureness. It's like, you're afraid of, like, you want to invest your pentacles, right, for pentacles. You want to invest your energy, you want to invest your time and energy into something, into things, but you just want to make sure it's a good investment. And so because of the, it's not a bad mindset to have, it's a really good one. But the thing is, Virgo, is, like, you have to watch this. If you really, if you start stressing too much about like putting the, your pentacles into the right things right S you know if you start overvaluing well, i don't want to say overvalue it but it's just like if you put so much stress on it then it's just like you're never going to invest your pentacles into any type of situation because it just seems like no situation is going to ever present itself of, of enough that provides you enough security or a sense of um knowing that you're making the right move and then yeah, so it's like you're not wanting to take a risk of any type when it comes to like the matters of your emotions and your heart and all that, which I get it, uh, Virgo, I really do. But this is one of those things you have to be willing to take risks. You do, the risk is inherently, risk is involved with anything in your life. You always risk, like risk comes with action, right? There's, like there's not, nothing is ever truly risk free. Risk only occurs when something's there to even when action is taken so you kind of have to just be at peace with the fact virgo and accept the fact that it's just like you're never going to escape um risks in your life it's kind of like be, it's kind of like the only way i can put this and i hope this doesn't sound dismissive virgo but it's like you're wanting to breathe air but you're not wanting to create carbon dioxide after like while you breathe air does that make sense it's just like yeah like carbon dioxide is not something that you want to like sustain your body with because you need oxygen but <laughs> like you still need to breathe right you kind of need to just accept the fact that it's just like with breathing comes carbon dioxide 
or, you know, like with, you know, it's just like two plus two equals four. You cannot escape that. So, <laughs> um, just be at peace. Like, I hope that doesn't sound dismissive, Virgo. I apologize if it does come off as I'm being dismissive, but you, I feel like for some of you Virgos, you kind of just need to shift this thinking and accept the fact that it's just like, by opening yourself up, yeah, you could hurt your, like, you are, you are, you have the potential of experiencing some hurt and experiencing some pain, but that's just life, I guess. So don't allow that to paralyze you. Don't allow that to be what stops you from uh, pursuing anything in your life, Virgo, because that's just a disservice to you. Um, just because you don't want that carbon dioxide doesn't mean you shouldn't give yourself oxygen. You should just be at peace with creating carbon dioxide. Such a silly example. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this reading up, Virgo. I hope this tarot reading uh, was of resonance in some type of way to you, Virgo. If you did enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the uh, comments below which tarot cards resonates with you. Um, and then, yeah, be sure to give this weekly tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Virgo, a like and subscribe. Um, and then be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. My gosh, Virgo. I love you so much. And until next time, bye.